Hello and welcome back everyone. I hope everyone is doing fine. Today we'll be going through an interesting uh, journey. A lot of us are faced with uh, a situation where we want to understand what percentage of work has completed. That's one part of it. The other part of it is we also want to know what should have been completed by now. So that's called plan percentage. So the one you see over here on my screen is the actual completion percentage that's uh, that we update based on the work that has been completed so far. However, based on the dates that we have in our plan, we also want to know, and it will be interesting to know as well, that what should have been the planned percentage that uh, that could have been uh, that should have been achieved by now. By default, MS Project gives you an option for planned work and stuff like that. However, for planned percentage, you have to use a formula which can give you this information. So, how are we going to get to that? Let's let's see. So firstly, we need to understand that uh, MS Project gives you an option to create or utilize formulas uh, in its calculations. So first, we need to identify a field. So by default, there's no planned completion date or percentage available. We have only 2% complete and percent work complete. So what we'll do is we'll utilize a text field where you can put in anything you want. Let's say I have chosen this, this uh, column. I will go to custom fields. And over here, firstly, I will rename it to planned percentage. Okay. Then I will head over to the formula. I will select the formula button over here. So it will give me a warning that if there's anything present in uh, this particular column at this moment, will be removed. So I will say, okay, since I don't have anything. And it will, uh, upon clicking the formula button, it will open an edit uh, dialog box where I can put in a formula. Now I have a formula available for plan percentage over here which I will paste. I will give you the details of this formula in, in the video description so you guys can easily understand what's going on. Just to summarize what it's doing is it's basically it's checking if the current date is less than the start date of the task, it will put a zero over there. And if the current date is greater than the finish date, that means the finish date had passed, that means the planned percent day should be 100%. <clears throat> so that's the easier part. The second part or the last part is if we're going through that task right now, so it will create a difference, uh, it will take a difference of the start date and the current date as per the calendar of the project, divide it by duration and multiply it by 100. And append a percentage mark uh, right after that. So uh, it will give you a differential of how many days or how what percentage of work should have been completed till now uh, as per the dates. So let's, uh, it will again, uh, once I press OK to proceed further, it will again ask if there's anything in that column, it will be replaced. So I'll confirm it, press OK. And over here, you can see that it has now started showing a percentage in this column. So let's cross validate. So it's saying that this task should have 100% completion. Sorry, I click something incorrectly. And so anything that has before today should have a planned percentage of 
So over here, you can see the variance that we, we can use uh, in our reporting and for in our uh, project updates is this should have been achieved by now. However, it's still sending at 25%. And similarly, these tasks should be at 100%, and these are not started yet. And this is the task that we are currently standing at. So this task is an ongoing task from 31st of May up till 19th of August. So as per the project plan, it should be at 86% right now on the 9th of August. So this gives, gives you a very interesting statistic of your project, which you can use using the formulas in Microsoft Project. So just to review it uh, quickly, you can go to uh, this you know, formula bar by right-clicking on any particular column and go to Custom Field, or you can head over to the Project Bar over here, Project Tab, and select Custom Fields here. It will open up the same thing, and then you can utilize the formula bar over here. I will be putting in the details of the functions that are being used in this uh, formula for your convenience in the description of this uh, video. So you can easily browse through it and understand it in descriptive format. And I will also put in the description of the, of the functions that are being used during this formula. So it will be helpful for you and you can use that uh, wherever you want. I hope uh, this interesting video will help you create wonderful project plans with more details as usual. And uh, if you liked this video, please click the like button and remain subscribed and you will get more and more information day by day. Hope you have a good day and bye-bye.